I think Connor's probably got a favorite to get to uh, losers. Would that be semis? Quarters. Yeah, so I, I'd love to see Connor get into losers quarterfinals. He'd, he'd have to take down uh, either Reefy or Spoots. Uh, but I think either of those is doable, especially with a 2 0 win against Hood. And so we'll see how they're feeling. But uh, we are 12 seconds in, and one of the Falcons is dead already. As to be expected. Ah, just misspaced that grab. Good, really good DI avoiding that, that second grab from, uh, from McGod there. Converting now into a couple up airs and up B. Let's see how he opts to cover this. Okay, goes mid range with a back air, but Kroby drops down too quick. And this is just an awkward spot to be in. And Kroby is going to be all, as patient as he needs to be to avoid uh, these back airs and these down airs from a god. He's, he's happy to just play on the edge. But catches one of them after uh, a, an on stage uh, forward air attempt. And that's going to even us up. Okay, I don't know if Wispy was at play there, but a little, little bit of uh, weird spacing there. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be Mikey's stock here. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, he's getting. Oh, he covers the whole platform with the Falcon Punch. Not enough to kill McGod, but that's gonna be enough to kill McGod. Let's go, Mikey. Okay, and this just in, we have Reefy Beefy 2-0 over Spoots. A little bit of a quick match. Um, so that means we're going to see Connor versus Reefy Beefy in Losers Round 3, as well as Etab waiting to play the winner of this game, McGod Crovey, which uh, is now Crovey 1, McGod 0 still. I think Crovey would have liked to win Etab, even after the 2-0 win it in the past. Yeah, I think Crovy is in. He, he's locked in at this point. I don't think his shirt is ever coming back on. That's right. Okay, good uh, falling forward air to catch the Green Falcon. He's going to end up with a re-grab off that. A couple up airs. And may not kill, but it'll get him a far off stage. Double Falcon Punch recovery, but down air is going to cover it, even with, uh, even with good DI from Green Falcon. OK. Late, uh, late falling up air catches him, but uh, he gets shield out in time for the next hit. That's, a, that's an interesting forward air, unpunished there. Okay, a little bit of dancing. I don't think he wanted a forward air there, but covers. That was crazy DI from the god there. But that's going to be the stock. This could still go either way. But we'll see if, if Mike can solve, uh, figure out a good way to get him off of his ledge play, and he ends up with a grab and a down air. Again, weird, crazy DI. Uh, to an immediate grab by Krovy, but he's just going to cover the hole there. And we're reset. Yeah, both these players have pretty insane DI. I think we have a, a Hori user and a Chori user. Maybe two. Okay, so that's two Chori users, so no, no surprise there. Mm, I think Black Falcon kind of crouch canceled that, that first hit on top plat, but wasn't enough to save him from getting hit again. Ooh, c catches with the forward air into an up smash. And just these late, late up airs catching him on his tech. That's that's just uh, bread and butter right there. That's going to be 2-0 Krovy over McGod. 